The Color 20 memo is of the of the original uh, MJ-12 documents is the only really original document. All the others that showed up on this film that uh, that appeared in Jamie Chandray's mailbox, magically one might say. Uh, this one uh, was found uh, by, oddly enough, Bill Moore and Jamie Chandray at the U.S. National Archives when they were there going through a set of recently declassified Air Force documents. As I remember, uh, they, say, they say that they found it between two file boxes. It was in this one box that had been brought to them, and, and there it was between the two. And this was a memo uh, from a, a, a gentleman at the White House whose last name was Cutler, and I think, was it Robert Cutler? I've forgotten. I think it was Robert Cutler um, to General Nathan Twining, who um, uh, was at that time, I think he may have become Chief of Staff of the Air Force at that point, but I'm not sure about that. In any event, he was a senior Air Force officer who his name has surfaced in, in UFO lore for many years and in various different contexts. And essentially, what it says is is that uh, you know we're going to we're going to uh, instead of having this uh, briefing, this MJ-12 briefing after the originally scheduled meeting, we're going to do it at that time or something to that effect. Um, your concurrence is assumed if we don't hear from you otherwise. Essentially, is what that means. Okay. Um, this uh, was it's on onion skin paper that that clearly was paper that was uh, from a you know a, a batch bought they bought it in, in large lots and so forth by the the government uh, the government uh, uh, logistical people back when and on and on and on and it all looks essentially authentic however it, there is no record of it anywhere in the official records of the archives and while the archives have, you know, there's a statement that has been issued by them that says this document was, you know, located by someone here at the archives while they were here at the archives, it does not say, as some people have tried to suggest that it says, that we authenticate this as a genuine United States government document. I come back to who found it. Uh, Bill Moore and Jamie Chandray. And a lot of people will say, well, okay, but the archives has very tight controls on what you can bring in with you, what you can take out with you, et cetera, et cetera. Well, without in, you know, putting myself in the position of being indicted uh, by a federal prosecutor, I can tell you that I know that it's possible to take things in that you're not supposed to take in and take them back out again uh, without anyone ever being aware of it. Um, it may be different today in the current atmosphere, but back when, I actually conducted an experiment. I took something in with me, and it was never picked up on. So it's you know it's by no means a foolproof uh, situation, and so it's certainly possible, given what we know about this whole MJ-12 situation and all the various documents that are allegedly authentic that have surfaced and so on. It's certainly possible that this could have been fake. Uh, it's not impossible that someone could have gotten their hands on you know in surplus stock or something. Uh, the genuine paper, and you can find a typewriter someplace. It's not that hard to do. So I'm, it doesn't persuade me in one way at all, frankly.